Let's analyze this intersection of the Farmington Canal Trail and Dixwell Avenue in Hamden from an engineering point of view. First, we have an overpass on an old railroad bridge. That's good because it fully separates bikes and pedestrians from vehicles and nobody has to wait for each other to cross. To get between the trail and the road, there's actually an access path on both sides of the overpass, which is great because the nearest crosswalks on the road are pretty far away. The paths are about 8 feet wide, which is sufficient for two bikes to pass. But it's a different story when the access path meets Dixwell Ave. Bikes and pedestrians are now thrown onto this narrow sidewalk squeezed between 35 mile per hour car traffic and a wall with no buffer. And the curb here is basically non-existent, so there's no vertical separation to the sidewalk either. Those two deficiencies create a really uncomfortable place to walk and leads to debris from the road collecting here. Meanwhile, cars get lanes in excess of 16 feet, which is much wider than any design standard out there. These lanes should only be a maximum of 11 feet. Giving back 5 feet on each side would effectively double the sidewalk width, and that could fix a lot of the issues. This connection at Dixwell Ave is an important one, as it leads right to a shopping plaza with practical destinations, and just a block away is the largest shopping center in the entire town. We've also got a bus route on this road, a park, a school, and town hall. If we want more people walking and biking and fewer people driving, our infrastructure needs to enable that. The Farmington Canal Trail is an incredible asset for the town, however this single connection point is a very weak link in the system, but it has a lot of potential.